when uh, uh, it, it, it wasn't last it what it wasn't last year it, it was two years ago since the Danielle Brandon debacle mm-hmm. happened it's been two years. Yeah. Yeah, did, did, that that's never been spoken about, right? Hmm. Actually, what happened? Yeah. You've never you've never come forward with what happened. I just think at this point, you know, Savan, listen, man, I there there are things that happen that I'm sure Danielle feels real shitty about, and and there's things that happen that I feel shitty about. Like I that I could have handled it better. There's no question. I think I was so angry at the time that. Like there was, you know, with some things that happened in, in the way some people were treated. And and I, I just felt was like, there one incident. Can you tell us anything about yeah, it? Yeah, but like, I can't. Will, will you I ever just, tell you? I don't will you know. Ever tell us what there was. A straw so. that, OK, there was a straw, yeah. though, that broke. The there camera. was. And, and 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 I know it. And, and I think Danielle probably knows it. And but I, at this point, I feel like. I've let go of a lot of that. I love Danielle. I'll be honest with you. I mean, if I saw Danielle tomorrow, I'd give her a big fucking hug. Uh, you know, I mean, I would have loved in the documentary uh, it, for for her to take a little a little bit more responsibility for some of the actions. I just felt like it was a little bit one sided. But it's a documentary. What the fuck? You right, know what I mean? Right, like they're right. gonna do what they do, and I don't blame anybody for that. I, you know. Um, I try to be as truthful as well. I, it was it was a propaganda. It. it was a propaganda piece too. It, but it, it was, was great. It was, yeah, it was it was great. It was awesome. Great. It, it was, was so great. well done, and I loved it, and I recommended people to watch it. And Danielle's a different animal, man. I'll, I'll stand by, you know, the fact that she's probably the most talented athlete I've ever seen in CrossFit. You know, I mean, she's a she's a an animal, and I loved. <laughs> there were moments I there were, I loved coaching her. Like, so whatever it, happened that made it so you asked her to leave? Yeah. Sorry, I just I just got to try. Um, I know whatever whatever I'm happened that made it. So you, <laughs> whatever whatever <laughs> happened that made it so you're like, hey, you're out yeah. was bad. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. It wasn't like, hey, you're just showing up late just, every day. It no. wasn't like, hey, you threw a water bottle at someone. It no. was whatever it was was bad. It, it was it. It was the. It was the breaking point. It was the final straw. Yeah. It was it. There was no coming back from that for me. Um, and 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 that's fine. I, it just happened. And I think it was it was something that happened that that you know. And then, but again, I I think. <clears throat> listen, it hasn't slowed her down. I mean, she's obviously doing incredibly well. She's one of the top ten athletes in the sport. And did she, Justin, know, did she ever say sorry to you for whatever it was? Um. For that specific thing, not no. I think that's that's still out there. So yeah. Um, but you know, it's not me. She needs to say sorry to. Um, right, right, right. You know, somebody. It's else. not but, her saying sorry to you isn't going to make you whole. But but you're say, suggesting that what she whatever happened, whatever the incident was, uh, she should pro- you as as a as a man who's been around the world, she should take a look at herself and be like, I, that's probably I, I not think a good so. Thing to do. But again, okay. and and I and I, again, I like. I think it's hard because I think different different things mean, and this is very, you know, kind of like, <laughs> but the way things happen, different things mean different things to different people, right? Like right. Way, the, what it meant to me may not be like maybe a small blip, you know, but yeah. that's, that's just the way that it works. And so ultimately, you know, um, I, I, that would make me happy and and i would love that you know if 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 that happened at some point in time an apology came and um but again i uh you know i think i will always have a a very strong affection you know towards her and and i wish her nothing but the best and i think she's great for the sport and i think that she's uh you know in, in that incredibly you know volatile being is a is a really you know she's really fucking cool in a lot of ways like you know she's a she's a she's a very unique individual and i loved coaching her there were there were things that i could say to danielle like in in middle of workouts that i can't really say to anybody else just because that we connected on like you know because there's a there's an animal instinct there that i kind of tap into also competitively you know, um, that she just had, and there were moments like during workouts or different things that, you know, there's stuff that I could say as a coach to be able to motivate her that just doesn't necessarily work with other people because we just connected on that level, you know? Um, and, uh, I think she felt that too. And, and I think, I think there's probably a lot of regret on both sides, uh, because obviously I, I, 
I felt like when we started together that I was going to coach her for her career. So that, you know, that's yeah, obviously, yeah. you know, that's tough. Do you, do you think that about every athlete? Um, like, is that just the default for you? I, I, I all, like all to in, think that all in. And if you get emotionally hurt, fuck it, who cares? Yeah. Like, I think they I mean, kind of have to be, I mean, if you, you know, yeah. if an athlete trusts you enough to put their career in your hands, I mean, that's the thing they hold the most dear. Like if they trust you, you, you immediately, you know, there's immediately like a connection, like a love there that you're like, well, you trusted me with this and I got to be all in. If I'm not all in, then I'm doing you a disservice. You're all fucking in. If you're not all in, then, you know, then I want to do this. And when they are, when you can tell they're all in, it's, it's impossible not to be, it's not a business relationship for me, you know? Um, and uh, so I think in a lot of ways, you know, I kind of wear that on my sleeve and sometimes I get burned and <laughs> that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah. I, I think it's always important to love with all your heart and just take the fucking emotional pain. Fuck it. Who cares? Like just yeah. deal with it. Right. Um, a three-year-old pees, uh, on the toilet seat and it's what a three-year-old boy does a, mm -hmm. a grown man pees on a toilet seat and doesn't wipe it up he's a fucking douchebag and it, and so that's the metaphor i use for like kind of like what i'm hearing whatever happened there um there's some components to danielle that are like a three-year-old boy but she but she's not a three-year-old boy she's a grown-ass woman and yeah. uh it, it, it's not cool um i know you want this part of the interview to end but uh well, it's not I'm fine. Um, okay <laughs> um uh so what i'm hearing you say is is that you don't want to talk about it um be also because you don't want to hurt her a hundred percent is that so you're just you're protecting her i i think i'm i think yeah i i because i know it wasn't her best moment or, 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 you know, and, and then I think it wasn't my best moment the way that I responded to it, to be honest. Okay. You know what I mean? I could have handled it better, but, but I, but I just, it's not, but you're not protecting yourself is what I'm hearing. Like you're I, not, you're, you, you feel, and you think that it would be uh, maybe malicious if you told the story. I, yeah. I just think it, it especially two years after and, and right. like, you know, she's, I think established herself. Damn, I should have asked you about it like three changed, days after. Fuck. And change, you know, she's changed. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I mean, I, it, I don't think, I, I just don't think it's relevant anymore. You know what yeah, I mean? And, okay. I, and I also think like, I don't want to do that. And maybe she's grown out of it and, and it would be, it would be bad to drag her and back. To be in. honest like, with you, Savon, like yeah. I would, I would, I would like to, to, you know, to have a, a cordial relationship, you know, with her. And, and like I said, and I, I just feel like at this point doing something like that or putting more dirt out there, just kind of, you know, I just think it, it kind of refuels that fire, which isn't necessary. It's not news anymore. And, 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 you know, ultimately speaking, like there are things that I, I think happen behind the scenes that, you know, will kind of stay there. And I'm hoping that, you know, we'll be able to, you know, kind of rectify that. And, and then we move on from there, you know, because, you know, she's, she's kind of friendly with Alex and, you know, like I, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I certainly don't want to create any issues there. And, and I, right. I just, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the right time to, to do that. Uh, listen, Dudley, you have a fucking animation picture as your fucking avatar as a grown ass man. You fucking cuck. He doesn't want to discuss it. Let's move on. How about fuck you get your own podcast. <laughs> anyway. Um, it, it's fascinating. Oh, Dudley. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so nice. Um, it, it, it really is so nice to see, Alex and Ricky together. And that is one of the cool things in, 